Hi everyone, here is my monthly update for my JRPG project. This month, I was mostly focused on completing the world map, which I started last month. I improved the vehicle code and handling. Now you can ride the ship when you press the button and face the sea on the beach. You do the same thing when you want to get off the ship. As for the airship, you can ride from anywhere if you simply press the button. However, you can only land the airship where the character can move. If you land on the sea, you automatically ride the boat. For now, you can ride all vehicles whenever you want, but eventually their availability will be tied to the story progression. Next, I worked on making a bigger sized world map. My map is made up of smaller chunks and I only display the sections that are around the player's current chunk. If you reach the sides of the map, you can see the chunks on the other side, which are there to make the map seamless. If you cross the edge, you are looped back to the other side of the map. With this, I believe I have everything I need to make a classic JRPG overworld. The last step needed was to connect my local map to my world map. This part wasn't very hard to do in theory because my map system mostly used the same code for the local and world map. However, there are differences in the code that forced me to spend around half the month refactoring my code to make everything connect together neatly and avoid code duplication. This halted my progress on features for a while, but it will pay off in the long term. With the world map done, I intend to spend the next month working on the story progression and cutscenes feature. This will allow me to make a rough skeleton of the whole game, which I can build up on as I add more features. I also plan on making retakes on my story outline, now that I have received enough feedback. That's it for now. This was a short update with not a lot of content, but I hope to have more to show next time. Thank you for following the development of my game, and I'll see you in my next devlog video.